ACL reconstruction procedure according to preferences of Grzegorz Jarosławski, Dworska Hospital. The animation shows a rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament. The stumps of the ruptured ACL are removed from the joint. The graft will be placed in bone tunnels. The surgeon inserts a directional K-wire into the femur and then drills the first tunnel with a diameter of 5 mm. The length of the femoral tunnel is approximately 40 mm. The next step is to obtain a graft. In this case, the semitendinosus muscle tendon is harvested. The surgeon prepares the tissues and harvests the tendon using a stripper. Graft preparation. After cleaning, the graft is folded in half and sutured with two threads. The tendon is folded again and another suture is added to the tibial end of the graft. A self-clamping loop system with an endobaton is used to stabilize the graft at the femoral tunnel. We obtain a quadruple graft whose thickness must be measured. The last element of the construct is a round and the button for graft fixation on the tibial cortex. Bone tunnels for graft placement, continuation. A bone socket with a diameter of 8 mm is drilled into the femur. Orientation of the tibial tunnel is determined using a tibial aimer. The drill is navigated along the cannulated guide. Graft placement. The suture loop is inserted into the joint and then into the tibial tunnel for assistance in graft construct passage. The end of button is moved upwards. After exiting the femoral tunnel, the end of button sits flush against the cortex, preventing the construct from moving downwards. The end of button tightening threads move the graft upwards until it rests on the roof of the 8 mm femoral socket. The tibial tunnel threads are tightened and tight on the round and the button. The self-locking loop system at the femoral tunnel prevents the construct from loosening. It effectively stabilizes the graft during the healing and remodeling phase. If you have any questions regarding the ACL reconstruction surgery, do not hesitate to contact us. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the new services available at our hospital.